Who is Mauricio Umansky, the guy on this cover? I feel like most people already know who he is at this point. If they watch Bravo or The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, as he is married to Kyle Richards and have an amazing, beautiful family together. That sounds weird. Am I kissing ass too much? Oh gosh, this is so awkward. I just finished reading the book from our CEO of the agency and I wanted to make a 1000% honest review about my thoughts on this book. Hopefully I don't get fired in the process. I was having a hard time in the beginning to be completely honest with you. I found myself not really getting into the start of the book. It had actually gotten to a point where I'd asked myself, do I want to continue through the rest of the way to see how it goes? For most people, I feel like when they get to that part of any book, they usually end up putting it down and not continuing forward. However, this is my CEO. I haven't had the chance to meet him in person, so I wanted the opportunity to figure out his thought process and see what has gotten our company to the point where it is today, having offices all over the world, agents who are wonderful and always love to communicate and do deals with each other, and that's what what kept me from the very beginning, moving forward and continuing to read on throughout the rest of this book. Now, I'm a very avid reader, self-development, business books, money, mindset. In my past couple of videos, I do always have a book being featured behind me. So I really wanted to dive into that a little bit more. And I'm very ecstatic that I did. Maybe it was just the first chapter, but every single chapter following kept me engaged, definitely had its own sort of flow for every one of the stories that were were told inside those chapters. I thought it'd be some quick ideas into the mind of our CEO, as well as maybe a few quick tips on how to become a better agent. What I got instead was a litany of lessons and true actual stories that not only helped me draw a perspective around the mindset of our CEO, but also gave me insight into the origins of the agency and helped me get even more excited excited about my company and where we're going as a collective group of amazing and awesome agents. There was a point where I told my girlfriend, I can't even put the book down because I'm very curious to see what happens and excited to share those stories and all of the extracted lessons with all of you. Even if it takes you a little bit to get into it, you'll be glad that you finished it once you get to the end. If you're tuning into my channel for the very first time, my name is Everett Smith and this is my channel, Easy NYC Real Estate where normally I make New York City real estate easy for you, but in today's video, I'm actually talking about The Dealmaker, the book by our CEO, Mauricio Umansky, and all of the wonderful lessons and ideas that he has inside this book to help you succeed in business through life, dedication, determination, and disruption. I do feel like a lot of the lessons in this book can either make life easier for you or help you deal with all of the hard things that you have to come across in a more easier way. Now, who is Mauricio Umansky? I feel like most people know him because they are up to date and following all of the real housewives of Beverly Hills. I know nothing about reality TV, so I can't really give you an essence on that. The fact that people do recognize the logo on TV something that people can call out and say, hey, you work for Mauricio or do you know Kyle? I think it's actually pretty cool in the sense where it is just the additional marketing and branding for us. But one thing that is also super cool is that from our TV show, Buying Beverly Hills, that's being featured on Netflix right now, go watch it, I'll link it in the below description. You can really get a sense of Mauricio, his outlook on life, his temperaments when he's handling deals, how he works with other other agents and collaborates with his family. Kudos to him for putting himself out in the public spotlight. In that manner, it gives anyone that has the opportunity to experience that a greater sense of who they're doing business with. It's an awesome and an amazing reflection on us. I'm just really happy that we have someone with such a good head on their soldiers leading the charge for growth of the agency around the world. When it comes to the style of writing of the deal maker, it is very different from most traditional business books that I think I was used to, as in the fact that it wasn't coming from a stance of 
this is what you have to do in order to be successful. Most business books usually come from that standpoint, either giving you some step-by-step -step guides of what to follow, whereas this one really emphasized the art of storytelling to not only get across the point, but also keep you on your toes for, hey, what's actually going to happen next? Or now I'm really curious as to how the whole situation resolves itself. Then just tying the lesson into the book, he does a great job at starting you from the very beginning and giving you every essence along the way throughout his life, even up to the point where he talks about the agents of New York joining the agency and why that was such a strategic move, which literally happened less than a year ago. It is very current, it is very up to date, and I just thought that being a part of the story, in a sense, was really cool and really done well by Mauricio. It makes it a very easy read for a lot of people. Even if they weren't into business books or self-development books, I feel like this could be a really awesome intro book for someone or anyone that was trying to get into the topic of self-development, business books, or just wanting to see how Mauricio lives his life. Quite different from feeling like someone is force feeding you information. This is how you get rich. I'm not gonna spoil any of the stories for the book, but I did wanna share a few of the mantras that resonated with me in my life. I'm someone who likes to reread books and get the most out of them. Mauricio comes up with his Mauricio mantras and puts them at the end of each chapter so that I can mark them up for sharing with you guys, my subscribers and followers, which brings me to my shameless plug. If you like videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe for even more videos like this in the future. I would love and appreciate it if you could share this with any of your friends who you think might find this useful or entertaining. And back to the video. If you're a strong and motivated salesperson, you can sell anything. When you're not selling, you're losing money. Learning to be efficient is a lifestyle. I thought this one was perfect because I feel like in life you are always selling or you're being sold. If you're looking for the perfect partner, you are selling yourself on why you are someone that is dateable and why the other person should fall for you. If you are saying yes to someone if they're asking or proposing to you, you're being sold on the fact that they are the type of person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. If you're looking for a job or an interview, you're selling yourself for the position that you are the best candidate to be working in that position. The circumstances may change, but at the end of the day, Mauricio captures it perfectly. By developing the skill of selling, you're ultimately going to be more successful in different areas of your life. Don't lose relationships with your clients. Just because nothing's happening in the moment, you should still contact them to check in. It's imperative to always maintain an open line of communication. This one personally resonated with me because I know that it's something that I need to work on. When I was younger, I used to be proud of being the self-proclaimed introvert that I was who knew how to adapt as needed to interact with other people. The truth is, all these years later, I realized that I wasn't a self-proclaimed introvert. I just really did not feel as comfortable being the extroverted person that I knew I could always be and instead would revert to introverted tendencies that I would normally have. But I think of it now as the person that chooses whether or not they are introverted or extroverted is just making up the excuse for themselves to not go the other direction and put themselves in a position that they are not used to for the sake of growth. If you're one of my clients right now and you're watching this video and you're like, hey, why hasn't ever called me in a long time? I encourage you to call me out on it because again, I want to keep that open line of communication. Mauricio says it really well, even if there's nothing to talk about. And I think this is, goes with for clients, for any kind of relationship, even if there's nothing specifically to talk about, the fact that you are the one actually going out of your way to reach out to the person on the other end, I think shows that you are taking the initiative to show the other person that you care. The bigger your digital network and your social media following are, the greater outreach you'll have, especially with younger generations. I want to put a poll in my comments. How many of you think that social media, especially in this day and age, is absolutely integral for operating a business, 
on a scale from one to 10? And or do you think it is possible to operate a business without having any sort of social media presence at all? I've always had a love-hate relationship with social media because whenever I look at it, part of your brain melts, right? If you're looking at specific kinds of content, which isn't really what I'm looking for, but it's kind of what's just thrown at you or pushed at you depending on what you've already followed or what you already see and what you already liked. The fact of the matter is that with and on social media, if you can come up with a consistent strategy around how you're able to come to the table and share your information, share what you have to offer, share your details in a way that someone else likes and resonates with that is different from everyone else out there, then I think that is, in my opinion, a winning strategy on social media. I see a lot of content out there that is literally just trash about random things that have nothing to do with anything, cool transitions that make you say, ooh, ah, that's how he did that, or green screen effects that make you second guess your life and, and wonder, you know, if you should become the next Steven Spielberg with your editing styles. I think it's really cool when you're able to incorporate something like that and make a very cool message behind it as well. But at the end of the day, there's no better way to share your ideas with the entire world on a scale that social media has and has the ability to get out to as many people as possible. Mauricio hits it dead on the head and more and more people, young people, are just diving right into this social experiment that we're all pretty much a part of at this point. Once you've evaluated a situation and made a decision, don't second guess it. If you're constantly doubting yourself, you can't deliver with excellence because you'll always be taking two steps forward and one step back. I had to throw this one in because how many people do you know, or maybe you're even one person like this yourself, who make doubts on every single decision that they make? How much productivity do you end up losing in your life because you're not really sure if the way you're going is the right or correct way ahead? And who's to say what's correct? Because if you decide you want to do it and it is right and it helps other people and you can make money off of it, you should go and do it at the highest highest and best level you can possibly do it. One of our top agents actually recently just shared with me the same exact fact. It's basically saying, once you make a decision, don't let anything come in between you and that decision until you get enough information to essentially tell you that that decision is a bad idea and you should make a pivot. From that decision. This resonated with me after a major change that I was dealing with in my business that took me a while to really come to terms with and realize that if I didn't make a decision about the terms that affected my process, then I would never be able to fully move forward in a way where I felt like I was making the right decision. That being said, this message that Mauricio shared just echoed everything that that top agent had told me. Information comes from you in different ways, but sometimes you're just not ready to hear it and you need to hear it again or again and again to have it actually stick for you. These are just a few of the awesome quotes, Mauricio mantras that are shared throughout the entirety of this book. I will link the book in the description below, the physical copy or the audio copy read by Mauricio himself. I want to give a big thank you to Mauricio and I just want to say how excited I am to be a part of the growth of the agency and more importantly figure out through some of these lessons how I'm going to better establish myself and contribute to that growth of our company as a whole. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching Easy NYC Real Estate, where I make New York City real estate easy for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.